Welcome to the directional derivatives and the gradient vector video tutorial. In this example, we'll be taking a look at the rate of change of a function at a specific point and direction. We'll also be taking a look at the directional derivatives and the gradient vector tutors. In this example, we're being asked to find the rate of change of function f of x comma y equals x times y at the point a, 1 comma 2, in the direction from a to b, where b is at 4 comma 6, or x equals 4 and y equals 6. Step 1. Load the package student multivariate calculus. And this can be done by going to tools, load package, student multivariate calculus. Going on the line below, enter the function in math mode. Right now we're in text mode. So let's click on math mode by on this symbol right here and continue writing the function f of x comma y equals x times y. Apply the context menu and select right hand side to obtain the right hand side of the equation and then apply the context menu again and go to gradient. We would like to know the gradient at point A which is at x equals 1 and y equals 2. Okay, and that's the gradient. It returns a vector at the point x equals 1, y equals 2. On the lines below, step 5 asks us to define vectors a and b. And the way you define a vector is like this. You, you write a colon equals left arrow 1 comma 2 enter similarly vector b is b colon equals left arrow 4 comma 6 enter and now we would like to know the difference between the two vectors simply enter b minus a and we get the vector that represents a difference between b and a and now we would like to know its magnitude simply right click on the difference of the two vectors, go to norm, Euclidean, and it returns 5. And we can see that it's really just the sum of the squares of the elements within the vector and the square root of that, which is equal to 5. So we know that the unit vector, u colon equals b minus a divided by 5, is the unit vector. And that's the direction we would like to find the rate of change at point A. Let's open up the directional derivatives tutor. First, let's write the function again. Select right hand side, go to tutors, calculus multivariable, and directional derivatives. As you can see that Maple automatically graphs the function. What we want to do is change the point it determines the directional derivative at to point A, as was given in the question, and it was x at x equals 1 and y equals 2. And we want to determine the directional derivative in the direction of the unit vector that we determined, which was in 3 over 5. The components were 3 over 5 and 4 over 5. And click on display. And Maple calculates that the directional derivative at that point in that direction is equal to 2. Close the tutor. Now let's determine the directional derivative through first principles. Let's call it d, which will be the rate of change at point A. d equals, and we know that the directional derivative is the dot product between the gradient vector at point A and the unit vector. So let's go up to the gradient vector and let's copy and paste that. Just press Control C. Come back down here, paste, and it's right arrow to go to the side. And we know the dot it has to be a dot product with the unit vector. And the dot product is in the operator's palette. Just click on the center dot and copy and paste the unit vector and hit enter and it returns that the rate of change is 2 at point A. 
which verifies our answer that we received from the directional derivatives tutor. Now let's open up the gradients tutor by going to the right hand side of the function, go to tutors, calculus multivariable, and gradients. And Maple opens up the gradient tutor. We would like to know the gradient at point A, which is at 1, 2, or x equals 1 and y equals 2. And click on display. And it also determines a gradient, as you can see, the gradient vector at that point. You have to remember that when we're dealing with a two variable function, in terms of x and y, for example, the gradient vector is a vector that is perpendicular to the level curve at that point, a, which is in our case, x equals one and y equals two. If you had a three variable function in terms of x, y, and z, then the gradient is normal to the surface. So you have to remember this difference. Thank you for viewing the directional derivatives and gradient maple adoption video tutorial.